Hi viewer, I welcome you to Edim TV. It is the station where you watch and learn. I'll be taking you through geography form two, lesson number nine. The topic it is internal land forming processes. I'm your teacher, Lucy Mabel. Welcome. Our lesson course today, we are going to look at the features resulting from the folding the features that result from the folding after the folding process has taken place what are the features that we get the, these features uh, there are a number of them so we can have this this process of folding the process of folding is responsible for the formation of various external land forms so the ones that you can be able to see one of them it is the folding mountains. We also have the scarpets. We also have the synclinal valleys and the depression. Let us look at them. We start the by with the fold mountains. Some of the world's largest mountains were formed through the folding. And an example we have the Everest. We also have the Usambara. We also have the Ruenzori. So we have um, a number of folds, the highest fold mountains that are formed by the folding process. That is the reason why it is important for us to go through them. And uh, then for us to understand the concept of fold mountain formation, there are theories. So we have various theories that have been put forward to explain the, how these mountains were formed. And they, they are these ones, we have the contraction theory, the conventional theory, and the plate tectonic theory. So we start looking at them in order for us to understand them. We start by the contraction theory. The contraction theory uh, it explains these, these how the fold mountains were formed. After the earth formation, surface rocks cooled fast, faster than, and contracted faster than those of the interior. This is during that process of the earth formation. Remember we said that uh, the outer shell, that is the crust, cooled faster than the interior part. So this is now the contraction theory. The contraction process that took place on the earth crust resulted into the formation of the uh, Ford Mountains. As the interior continued to cool, the surface rocks record to fit on the contracting interior resulting to the Ford Mountains. So that is how the Ford Mountains were formed according to the contraction theory. Oh, the, remember the crust cooled faster than the interior part. So as the interior part started to cool down, that is now when the crust rocks record or the crab or the bedding took place. Then we go to the second one. That is the 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 the, the, break, the contraction theory. That is the one that we have already explained, the contraction theory, which is the recording of the, the, the interior of the earth. Then we have the, the, the pre-tonic theory. When an ocean plate meets a continental plate, the dense oceanic plate sinks beneath the higher continental one. So that is another way that folding took place. Then we have the higher continental plate due to the compression of crabbles to form the food mountains. So we have the higher continental part, the one that is on top, which is now crabble. When the two oceanic plates meet, remember the oceanic plate is sima, and sima lies below the sea. So when the sima will Converge to one another. Remember, there is this part that is on top of it. That is the sea of the continental plate. Now it results to the crab, resulting to the Ford Mountain.
Um, the other feature it is the escape mode. When folding takes place on a rock mass, the ex rock mass, the extended steep limb from the anticline forms an escarpment. So when now we have the folding taking place, we have the up folds and the down folds. Then uh, whatever you see, it is an escarpment. For example, you can be able to see the illustration that I've illustrated. You can be able to see where the escarpment are. We have the fold mountains. Then remember we have the up anticlines and then the, the, the synclines. Then the faces, the one that is facing the adjacent crane is an escarpment. Then we go to the next one, which is the synclin valleys. These are valleys formed as a result of folding. So you can be able to see where the synclinal valleys are formed. Then we have the depressions. These are deformations or depressions of the crust that have been that have occurred over a large area. It is similar to the valleys, but now the, for the depressions, they are cover a very large area. For example, like the way you can be able to see which one fold mountain. Then we have a great or an extensive area. Then we have the next fold mountains. That is our uh, the features that result from. The folding. That makes the end of our lesson the activity for today. State four features resulting from folding. And then state three theories that explain the formation of the folding. Uh, you can get more information on the, uh, for the features that result from the folding from the KRB 2003 Secondary Geography Student Book to that edition. Or you can contact us through the SMS. You can also get us through the YouTube. You can also get us uh, from the Facebook. You can also Twitter us uh, with that. So stay tuned to the Alim TV. Thank you.